All right, thank you, Kim. Well, this weekend also marks the official start of summer, so that means Sunday, June 20th, Father's Day will also be the longest day of the year. I don't know if there's a connection there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But you know, for the Alzheimer's Association, the longest day honors the darkness of Alzheimer's and the fight against the yeah. disease. Here in East Tennessee, many of you are now chipping in to help out, and that includes one Maryville artist. There are so many meanings to yeah. this weekend. WATE.com reporter Austin Martin joins us now. Austin, let's talk about this artist. I know you've been so fascinated by her work. Oh, she is awesome. She's offering paint classes with all the proceeds going to research. She paints because she loves it, and she's doing this for the ones she's loved. Lori Bishop is a financial planner by profession. I'm thinking numbers all the time, right. and this is the other side of my brain. But a painter by passion. I have been creative all my life. I've probably been painting uh, as a professional artist. My husband says if you sell one, you're a professional. Uh, for about 12 years. She says she uses art to relieve the stress of everyday life. It is a distraction for me. You know, some people smoke and drink and do whatever. I paint. And it turns out she's not the only one in her family who does. About three years ago, my son found my birth mother and we met and she taught art for 20 years. Her biological mother, now 83, paints too. Still a fabulous artist and and paints different from me. I, I paint very loosely and she, um, she is uh, paints very realistic, like decorative type of painting. But it's the family who raised her and a close friend who she's painting for this weekend. So Alzheimer's has impacted uh, me personally. I lost one of my best friends to Alzheimer's. Uh, it's affected so many people in my life. I am part of a caregiver uh, support group and so uh, so it's really personal to me. For a woman who built a career on strict organization. It's messy. It's the messy studio you see here. She hopes helps most. Just want to have fun and, and help a good cause. Yeah, and take a look at this. Isn't it pretty great? Now, this is an example of some of her work. Now, you won't learn exactly how to do this this weekend, but she's going to teach you where to start. Now, this weekend's classes, there are two of them. The first one's Saturday from 9 to 1.30, and the other starts at 1.30. It's at First Baptist Church in Maryville. Again, all proceeds will go to the Alzheimer's Association. Guys. What mm, a special great. story. Yeah. I especially love the sunflowers. Yeah, uh, nicely done. And I thought Beautiful. it was interesting, too, that when she finally met her birth mother, that she was an art teacher. It makes so. you think about nature, nurture. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this weekend, by the way, there are events all around our area for the longest day. Yep. And for a look at those or for a link to take uh, those painting classes you were just hearing about, you can head to our website, wate.com.